What's up, everybody? Rob Barrington back here for the weekly challenge, volume 48. We've done 48 of these things where we will at the end of this week. And that is a lot of bridge hands, and we're in for another treat with this nice hand. Our partner opened one club, our right-hand opponent bit a heart. I hope you guys went to bed doubling. This is the only correct bid with this hand because we have four cards in the spade suit. If we had five or more spades, guess what, folks? We would bid one spade in this situation. This, in fact, one of a minor, one heart overcall is a special circumstance for the negative double. We have two ways to show spades. One of them, the double, shows exactly four spades and six plus points. The other one, the one spade bid, shows six plus points, same point count, just five or more spades. So here we've done a very reasonable job of trying to find a spade fit. We didn't find it. And now with a game going hand, we're going to bid three no trump. Some of you might be saying, well, what about heart stoppers? Our partner's shown heart stoppers, right? So they have shown the ability to stop that suit. We're all in. Let's just take a quick peek at one other thing here. The right-hand opponent bid clubs, which apparently for them was natural. They overcall the heart and then they bid clubs naturally. So we should know they have about nine cards in those two suits at least, but also they've shown values. So again, don't forget to add the points together. 13 in our partner's hand, 14 in our own hand, that's 27. Give this person 12, their minimum. That's 39. This hand should be pretty darn easy to play, folks. Let's go. All right, so here we go. Heart lead. We're going to play low because it's the same as that. Boom. Where is, I don't know, where's the jack of spades most likely, folks? Where's the jack of diamonds? Where are all these cards supposed to be? Well, they're all going to be in east. Except, guess what, folks? Where it's a little interesting because east also showed a lot of shape. Right, they showed five hearts and four clubs, right? So in this case, they're likely to be short in one or both of those side suits. So let's see what's happening in spades. A suit that we have lots of tricks in, and we can maybe make a guess if we need to here. But we're going to play low. We're going to give everyone a chance to play their cards. And here we've come up with some information. So La East over here has exactly two spades. We know they've shown at least five hearts, and, and we don't know more than that. We saw lefty over here follow suit to one heart trick. We're not sure what's happening uh, with the other hearts over there. We also don't know anything about diamonds yet, but we know that they have four. We do know that they have the ace of diamonds, right? So they have to have at least one diamond. They may have more. We also know spades just aren't breaking. We should also recognize that clubs are really unlikely to break as well, <laughs> okay? So here, uh, I am not going to do anything but lead a club towards my king because I want to see what's going on in diamonds. And I'm going to do that by just leading a low diamond in here. There's the information. They could have played low. We would have known the ace was there and we would have played the queen. And now we'll give them a chance to cash out and we will deal with the rest here. So there's the ace of hearts. And now we have their perfect count, folks, at least in hearts. We saw on this last trick that lefty followed two hearts. So now if we're counting, and again, this is perfect, a perfect advertisement for counting practice, which is actually occurring today if you're watching this live, 3.30 p.m. Eastern on Wednesdays. The quiz class will tell you that when we figure this shape out, we know that East started with exactly five hearts. We also know they started with exactly two spades. We are coming to the conclusion that they may have two diamonds, but we don't necessarily know whether they have four or five clubs. So I guess we'll figure that out in just a moment. Uh, when they lead this heart, though, we are going to pitch the ten of spades here. We're going to win this king of hearts. And now we're just going to play clubs, right? We're going to play the nine of clubs. There, Ah, there we go, folks. It looks like, I believe West pitched one club already. It looks like East was 5-5, five, five, I believe. Uh, it's possible they were 6-5, actually. I'm not sure if we did see a full pitch from them over here. But here, I'm just going to play Diamonds. And I can't. I didn't see if Lefty did pitch a club, but it's possible East was 6-5 and just couldn't bid clubs originally. Is that what happened here? No, they were 5-5, five, five, so they just missed Lefty pitching a club. But here... That is, that's how we figure out the shape, folks. We just kind of go with what they talked about in the auction, and we follow the play. When they show up with two spades, they're either 5-4-2-2, two, two, or, or they only have one diamond, and they're 5-5-2-1. Five, five, Boom. That is all she wrote. But either way, we're in a nice 3 no trump contract taking 10 tricks, and we will see what we're doing on this next board, folks. All right, 13 high card points. No reason to do anything but open a spade. Mm, what do we do now, folks? 
This is kind of brutal. I I would probably accept an invite from Partner with Descent, only because it's the robot, and I know they invite heavy sometimes. They'll have like a reasonable 12. So when, when their range includes like a heavy invite, I like to just let this continue. Meaning, if I, I could pass this. I, I know the robot plays a forcing no trump, but in reality, the semi-forcing no trump is the more normal way to play this. So with your balanced minimums, you can pass. The reason I don't put this in the balanced minimum camp, folks, is I have amazing intermediate cards. Like I have ace 10, eight fifth, queen 10, third, ace 10, third, even king eight is, is better than a terrible holding here. So here, I'm just gonna bid my three card minor. And if they invite, I'm ha and here that is, they, they've invited, I'm gonna accept. I might clip off three no here. Uh, I'm gonna try that. Let's see what happens with partner. They, okay, cool. So here, they'll give us a chance to play in just three no when it's right for us if we're both kind of flattish. So I'm, I'm in love with this auction, by the way. Thank you, Robot. Usually they kick it into four spades here when they find a fit, but they're so flat that they now have correctly gotten us to the right spot. And we've dodged a heart lead, which is sick here. So at this point, we're gonna try to keep them away from hearts as much as possible especially from east. So I'm actually gonna duck this. I'm gonna let them win it in the effort of hopefully just setting up spades and seeing them make an incorrect switch. So here we go. Now I'm gonna play a spade to the king. We're gonna get the bad news, but that's probably okay. Um, let's count our winners at this point. We have three. We're gonna take three more diamonds, that's six. The ace of clubs is seven. Uh, we might not even make this sucker, but I'm definitely gonna try to set up a spade here. Uh, for my extra tricks. We needed spades to be 3-2 to have a real, real shot at making. Uh, now we need we need to kind of take a side door into making this contract. So here I'm going to lead a diamond to the ace. I'm going to play the eight of spades and pitch a heart. And now before I play a club, I'm, I'm just going to play... I'm sorry, before I play a diamond, I'm just going to play a club. And here, there's a couple ways we could win this. I'm going to duck this. And I'm gonna hope that clubs are dividing somewhat evenly or they do something like this, but don't get it right entirely. <laughs> ah, that's too bad. Too bad, sorry, maybe I need to take the ace of clubs and exit a club for that, but I believe they can still do the exact same thing. I just needed them to guess wrong here and I don't think I got it. Well, let's, let's make sure I didn't make a total disaster out of it though. Here, unfortunately, we needed space to divide evenly, but the good thing is, so do the robots if they end up getting to spades. And I know they play the forcing no trump. So if they play four spades, this is going to be just as bad for them as it is for us. I believe I needed to win the first trick, though, and that would cook us up. Yeah. Oh, no, I guess I can never do it, even if I win the first trick. Okay. Uh, so here, we're just down, right? At this point, we just can't make it. And the rest is history, right? We just do not have enough tricks when spades don't break, right? Instead of four spades, we only get... Two, three, and we have to lose two tricks in that exchange, which just gives up the tempo a little bit too much. So unlucky, but I have to be honest, what's three or four spades gonna buy us? Probably losing, wow, imagine the king of heart lead, wow. Uh, well, we'll lose three hearts directly, we'll lose at least one spade, and that's down one at a minimum, and that's probably all it's down at that point, because then they'll scrape together the rest, but still. They're, they're not going to do better in spades is what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so this will be where we start tomorrow, which is Thursday. Take a look at this one. What do you do, folks? What do you open the bidding with this one? I know faithful watchers of this channel will open this a certain way. So make your choice and see if it's right tomorrow. And don't forget, uh, as we just counted a hand in this set, counting practice is another way to get more exposure to that and get your practice with that skill. You don't have to think about the hand. You just have to count all the hands I give you in this. You're not going to have to make plays. I just want to get you used to at least thinking about this process. And when you get comfortable enough at the table to do it live, you will be amazed at how you're results improve because you'll just know more without too much effort. The effort is extraordinary at the beginning of everything, right? Any any sport, whether it's a mind sport or a sports board, you, you need to get those those kind of, what, what's the word I'm looking for? The, uh, the mental reps are so important because you want to put yourself in that situation as often as possible. So it's muscle memory is what I'm looking for. The, the, that develops in bridge, right? Just from playing, which is the cool part. Just like any game, you can learn a lot just by sitting down and playing it, and you'll have a heck of a lot of fun doing it, I hope. <laughs> All right, so, so let's see what we do with this hand next time, and uh, we'll see if we're going to be victorious by Friday, folks. I'll see you in the next one.